Investing Capital Budgeting, Present and Future Value. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email and our phone number. And the source where we got the information for this video is a McGraw-Hill Irwin site for one of their textbooks. So go online and you can find some good information. I wanted to go back to a comment earlier in capital budgeting, which is discount rate or interest rate. And I wanted to introduce a new concept based on this old term. And what I use is bang for your buck. If a company has cash, the discount rate means the company's opportunity cost of capital. In other words, if you decide to buy a vehicle rather than buy a machine, you're giving up the opportunity to buy that machine. Now, both the vehicle and the machine may generate some sort of rate of return. And the rate of return that you're giving up is opportunity cost. A good way of thinking about it is depending on the college that you choose. There may be pluses and minuses to both colleges. Graduating from both colleges may have, generate certain levels of income in a career. So that's the classic opportunity cost is which school do I pick and which major do I pick. That's if a company has cash, first paragraph. If the company raises cash, there's an investor involved, and the discount rate means the investor's opportunity cost of capital. So if the investor invests in Acme Plumbing instead of investing in Frank's Lumber, what is he giving up by not investing in Frank's Lumber? One of the terms we talked about in the first videos on capital budgeting was net present value, and we looked at the present value of the outflow, that is the check that you write, the initial investment, usually that happened in year zero and the present value was the same as the dollar amount of the check. But on cash inflows, we had inflows coming in years into the future, five, six, ten years out. And the question is, if we look at those dollars adjusted for their present value, in other words, discounted at some sort of rate, what would they be worth today? So that we're looking at today's dollars in both cases. Now we've talked about present and future value, but frankly we haven't done an example of it. So I wanted to do an example one tying to the other. Let's assume that you have a thousand dollars invested at 10 percent a year. So in year one you invest a thousand dollars. I'm going to take some values from a future value table and I'm going to introduce the term compounding in just a minute. So 10% of the thousand is a hundred, there's my interest. The investment plus the interest is eleven hundred dollars. So if we take whatever the dollar amount is, whether it's one dollar or a million, and we multiply it by 0 0.01, the 10%, we get a formula of 1.1. So if we take whatever we're investing and multiply it by 1.1, that's what the investment's worth at a 10% rate of return. The great thing about future value is called the magic of compounding. And compounding is what I refer to in purple here, earning, quote, interest on interest. And that's where you can really start to accumulate wealth, start to get a higher rate of return. The key to this formula is, is that the investment amount the investment column increases every year and it increases by the amount of the interest. So in year two, the investment becomes $1,100, not 1000 which was the investment plus interest in the prior year. We multiply that 1100 times 10%. Our interest is higher. It's not $100, it's 110 And the reason that it's higher is we're earning interest on a larger investment amount. So if we add the 110 and the 1100, we get $210. Another way of saying that is if we take an amount times 0 .01, 0 .1, excuse me, and then we multiply it by 0 .1 again, we get 1.21. And if you look in a future value table at 10%, you'll see that the figure of 10% in year two is 1.21. So we're multiplying whatever our original investment amount is, in this case a thousand, 
times 1.21, and we're getting $1,210. That investment amount could be any amount, but these formulas will stay the same. And if you pull up a future value table at 10%, you'll see these formulas. Same thing in year three. We're taking the 1210, which was our investment plus interest at the end of the prior year. We multiply that by 10%. We get an even higher interest amount because we're earning interest on the interest. And if we add the investment amount and the interest amount, we get $1,331. That formula written out is point one, these should be 0.1, they're 0.01, which is a math error on my part. 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.1 or 1.331 which is the figure you would find in the future value table for year three. So what we've just done is the future value and using compounding. What about the present value? For example, if we knew we had to pay somebody $1,331 three years from now, maybe you're figuring out your tuition and you know you have to pay X amount in a future year and you assume an interest rate, the question is, what are those dollars worth today? Well, we can go backward using the present value table. So if we take the 1331, and we get a present value table, and we look at year three at 10%, this is the multiplier. And with rounding the 1331, times that percentage, 0.751, gets us back to $1,000. So what we figured out is, is that we have to have $1,000 today. And that's the same thing as $1,331 three years from now at a 10% rate. Or in other words, if we invested the 1,000 at 10% for three years, and we compounded the interest, we'd end up with 1331. Another way to get to the same figure, again, this is with rounding, is to take the 1331, divide it by the 1.33, and we're going to get a present value, I've got a rounding of a dollar here, of right at a thousand. So we can take the future payment and divide it by the number of the future value table. So you can multiply by the present value number, or you can divide by the future value number and you end up at the same place. That's the end of part four. You'll find part five on YouTube, our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. A complete list of videos on our website. There's a video listing Excel document, www.stltest.net. We have live tutoring and chat sessions on GoToMeeting, both one-on-one -on -one and in groups. There's our email address and our phone number, and we'll see you next time.